Come on, sing it out. I thank God. Yes, I do. Lord, I like this part of the song. Every voice. Welcome somebody to the house of the Lord. You can walk around. You can take your time. We're in no hurry. Amen. Amen. We want everybody to feel welcome in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm excited this morning to hear Pastor Austin's message. Are you excited to hear what word? God's give Pastor Austin. Amen. Amen. Uh, so two reasons for that. Number one, he hadn't got to preach in the new year. I wanted him to have an opportunity. Number two, we're doing our State of the Church address tonight. And so vision and financial meeting. That'll be tonight at 5. And um, I somewhat told someone I would preach a little bit. Not too much, right? I won't preach too much. So I'll still be, I still get my turn today. So come back tonight, 5 o'clock. Really would like to see you here, not just to have your vote uh, for the financial report, but to hear the good things God has done and is doing as we continue to move forward 
into this mystery that is our destiny. Amen? Amen. 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 Not only do we have that, but this Wednesday we have our adult word and worship night. And then our kids' church and our youth have their their service. Did, did all the youth survive love and war? Did you survive love and war? Okay. Um, so I'm glad I didn't go over. But they got done early, so love and war didn't last long. Um, but uh, we want you to come back for that as well. And then also the Heartland Region Nights of Prayer and Praise, our regional night is at the Wagner Church of God on Thursday night at 7. Um, what's so interesting is our administrative bishop, uh, Tim Cushman, was the youth director in Tennessee for about eight years. And there he met this young man right here, Jeremy McGinnis. And uh, Jeremy pastors the Great Park West Church in Knoxville, Tennessee. But I know Jeremy as a camper. <laughs> this kid was a camper. <laughs> When, when I was taking my boys uh, to youth camp in Tennessee, and uh, I remember Jeremy as a teenager and working rec staff, and so I'm just glad he's saved. Amen? I'm just saying, just telling you, I'm glad he's saved, glad he's doing a great work for God. Um, but actually, I'm excited to go see Jeremy and just, just to hear what God is doing and hear from, from the Lord a word for our, for our region there are three nights of prayer and praise. We used to do a one-shot deal in Wichita, three nights, and uh, so now they're moving that around, and so I'm excited. And if you have an opportunity or if you can make changes to be there, um, our state, uh, or I should say our region, our praise and worship team will be there with also Pastor Reuben and Pastor Cammy are singing and playing on the team that night as well. So if you didn't get enough of them this morning, you can go and hear them again on Thursday night, all right? All right, that's all of that. Let's get to the offering, to the giving. If you have your tithe, if you have your offering, uh, would you just get it in your hand as our ushers come and prepare to serve you? You can text it to 844-492-9984. You can give online at northelliot.church. You can give it right now in person. You can mail it. You can put it in the offering boxes in the foyer as you leave in case you didn't get a check made out in time before the ushers came by. But the main thing is that you participate. Let's all participate in this opportunity to say to God, I trust you. Not only do I want you to bless my church and bless my life, but I trust you. I trust you with all that is mine, and I surrender all of that to you. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this opportunity to give. Thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to participate with the body of Christ and doing something that is bigger than me and Twyla, bigger than we could do on our own. Father, I pray your hand of blessing upon each and every family, each and every giver, God. Minister to them your goodness, for we trust you. I pray that in Jesus' name, amen. Let's all stand again, church. I encourage you to press in as we, as we sing these songs. He's worthy. Don't let this be another Sunday that we, we sing some good-sounding songs and we, we leave it there. Let this be a sacrifice from our heart to his as we, as we sing.
that there's a book up there with my name, my name in it. I was a little, little boy. Man, I was so happy. I was so happy God wouldn't forget that my name's written down in glory. Aren't you thankful? So thankful. I encourage you again, as, as I said before, don't let this be another ordinary worship set. I encourage you to seek him and listen to what we're singing and make these, these love songs to him, make them personal. Father, we thank you for what you're doing in this place. Father, we thank you for your presence that's in here, resting on us. All we want is you. We're not asking for blessings. We're not asking for anything, Father. We just want you. So won't you come? Fill this place, every corner. We thank you, Father. Like Pastor said, we're in no hurry. I just want to breathe you in, Father, breathe in your presence. We thank you, Jesus.
just want to sit 
here at your feet. I'm caught up in this holy moment, and I never want to leave. Oh, I'm not here for blessings. Jesus, you don't know. sorry when I've just gone through the motions I'm sorry when I just sing another song take me back to where we started I open up my heart to you let's sing a church for a moment and I'm sorry when I've come with my agenda, I'm sorry. When I forgot that you're in love, take me back to where we started. I open up my heart to you. I'm caught up in your prayer. Oh 
I want us to stay right here for just a moment in this, this atmosphere of worship. This isn't in my notes. It's actually something I preached a couple weeks ago to the youth. For the last couple months, I've been really struggling to sleep on Saturday nights. I don't think it's by accident. I believe it's because the Lord has me up praying for you, praying for our pastor. I call out your names. I cry for you. I weep for you. I pray over you. I ask God to give me words for you, for encouragement. In a couple weeks back, the Lord took me to Genesis 18. And I was reading the story of Abraham and Sarah. They were promised something. They were promised a child. They were promised offspring. And you know, time goes on and nothing takes place. This promise that they were given, that the Lord promised them, nothing happened. And they start to, to, to wonder, is this actually from God? Is this actually the way it's supposed to happen? And if you know the story, Sarah eventually says, well, God just isn't going to use me, so here, take, take my servant. Take her, and we'll, we'll start a family this way. And if you know the story, you know that wasn't God's promise. That wasn't the way it was supposed to take place. And you know the issues that were caused from, from that child that was born. But the amazing thing is, even though we look at that story and we think, Abraham and Sarah, man, they messed up. Man, they tried to do it their own way. They, they tried to, to figure it out themselves. They're again visited by God. How many of us have messed up? We've been given a promise. We've tried to do it our own way. But the amazing thing is, as they were singing promises, the story kept coming back to mind because guess what? Even when I'm not faithful to him, he's faithful to me. Lord, help me. And as I look at that, and I, and I think about how amazing it is that they're still visited, yet we look at the story, and as, as they're being told, hey, in a year's time, I will come back, and you will have a son. We see Sarah standing at the entrance of the tent. And what does she do? She laughs. She's saying, after all this time, I'm old. It's been 24 years. How am I supposed to have a child now after all of this has happened? After all we've been through, after we've messed up, now you're going to give me a child? Now the promise will take place? And the Lord looks at Abraham and asks, why does she laugh? And in Genesis 18, 14, the Lord says this, is anything impossible for the Lord? Is anything impossible for the Lord? At the appointed time, I will come back to you. And in about a year, she will have a son. I wonder how many of us today, how many of us have shown up in this house We've been given promises about our children, about our family members, about lost loved ones, about those that have been running from God, that know God, know the truth, but they've run away. Or how many of us have been sick for a long time, or maybe even a short time? Maybe you're dealing with something today, and you feel like, God, I know that you spoke. I know you said this would happen, but I haven't seen it yet, God. Where is it, Lord? I'm waiting but yet we come into this house and we know that the Spirit of God is here in the room. We know His presence is here and we've been taught all our lives if He is in the room, anything can happen. But yet we show up and we, we don't worship. We sit here and it's almost as if we're laughing because we know the truth, but yet we don't partake in it. We don't do anything to see it happen. I know I've been talking for a few minutes now, but I want to ask you today, I want Reuben to go back into the song and Pastor Cammie, and I want us for a moment to ask ourselves, is anything impossible for the Lord? 
Is there anything, that promise that was given to me 15 years ago when I was prophesied over, maybe even in this altar, but I haven't seen it happen yet. Do I believe it still could? Do I believe that it will? If you believe that it can today, I'm going to ask you worship with us for a few moments. Give him your heart today. Don't laugh. Don't hold back from what he can do. In Jesus' mighty name. Will do. I just want you and nothing else. No, nothing else. Nothing else will do. I just want you and nothing else. No, nothing else. Nothing else. Would you lift your hands in reverence to the Lord this morning? We thank you, God. In Jesus' name.
this is you this morning. I don't feel like I can move forward until we, until the Lord is finished with what he is doing. I could care less about my 10 pages that I've written if he has something to speak to somebody this morning. If this is you, if you, if you want to touch from God, if you feel like there's been a promise over your life, if you're dealing with a sickness, a disease, if you're wanting a family member to come into the house of God again, to find him again, not just to be in church. That's not what it's about. It's about to be in relationship with the Lord. If that's you this morning, we're going to worship for just a couple more minutes. I would ask you, come. We're not going to embarrass you. We're not going to make you hold the mic. We just want to pray with you. So as we worship, I'm going to ask, if that's you, would you come this morning? Oh, in this place, fill our hearts with your love, your love surrounds us. You're the reason we came to encounter your love. Sing it out. Your love surrounds us. Let's sing that again.
I want to encourage you this morning to press in just a little more. Press in a little bit more this morning. I didn't know if you know this or not, but we're a Pentecostal church. We believe in the power and the presence of God this morning. We believe that in a moment, God can do more than a man could ever imagine or think. And here's the thing. He's in the room this morning. He's here. He wants to touch you. He wants to... He wants to forgive you this morning. He wants to touch your body, heal your body. He wants to see you made whole again. I believe that this morning. Moments like this don't happen often, church. Moments like this don't happen often. We take them for granted when his presence, when his presence is in the house, we need to move. When his presence is here, when the almighty God of the universe is here, we need to move. We need to respond. We need to react to him. He's here for you this morning. I don't care how far you've run, how far from God you feel. If you've never sensed his presence before, he's in the room. Chase after him for a moment. He's been chasing after you all this time. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we give you glory. Lord, I ask that you move for your church this morning. Move over the people under the sound of my voice this morning, God. I pray that if the, the sick are here, God, Father, that they would be healed. If the lost are in the room, God, I pray they find you this morning. Jesus, mighty name, God. Those that haven't been filled with your presence in years, I pray they be refilled in this moment, God. Jesus, mighty name, and I pray those that know the truth, those that have been living it, God, I pray that they would seek after you in this moment for those that don't. That's something we've lost, God, Father. We don't cry out for others, Lord. We're so consumed with ourselves, God. I pray that we cry out for those around us this morning. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. As the Spirit was moving over the water, the Spirit come move over us. Come rest on us. Come rest on us. As the Spirit was moving over the water, the Spirit come move over us. Come rest on us. Resting it again, yeah. As the spirit was moving over the waters, spirit come move. Yes, Lord, come rest on us. Come rest on us. Come rest on us. And as the spirit was moving over the waters, spirit come move over us. Move over us, Lord. Come rest on us. Holy Spirit, come on. Rest on us. My heart pounds when you feel the room. You're here and I know you are moving. I'm here and I know you will fill me. Calm down, spirit. When you move, you make my heart pound. When you feel the room, you're here and I know you are moving. I'm here and I know you. Fire away.
as many people that would, if you would just come and let's gather, let's gather in this altar area with our hands raised. If I'm telling you, there's, God moves in and he does like his word. It's line upon line. It's precept upon precept. It's here little, there little. I want us to worship God together. I have a friend of mine, he calls this charismatic density. When we move out of all of our spread come close in worship. That which God is doing becomes amplified and multiplied, and people who were outside of what God was doing get into what God is doing. We're going to sing this song, and we're going to invite Him, not just to remind us of our promises, but we're going to remind Him of our promises back to Him, that I've made Him some promises as well, that I would follow, that I would pursue, that I would be His and he would be mine. Let's just worship him. Let's just press in. Press in. Let him touch you. Touch him. There's a spirit who was moving over the water. Spirit come. Come on, church. Sing it out. Come rest on. Come on, together as one body. Come rest on. Sing it. As the spirit was moving over the water. Come on. Spirit come move over us. Come on. Let's sing it again as the Spirit was moving. Come on, let's breathe him in. As the Spirit was moving over the water, Spirit, come move over us. Come rest on us. Come rest on us. Calm down. Spirit, when you move, you make my heart pound. When you feel the rest of the room, you're here and I know you are the room. Come down. Me, come down, Spirit, when you move, you make my heart yes, pound. When you fill the room, you're here and I know you are moving. I'm here and I know you will fill me. Oh, we're not satisfied. We want to see you move. Come on, fire and wind. Oh, fire and wind, come and do it again. Open up the gates, turn heaven on in. Come rest on us. Come rest. Come rest fire on and wind. us. And fire and wind, come and do it again. Open up the gates, let heaven on in. Come rest on us. Come rest on us. Come, down. come down. Spirit, when you move, you make my heart. Feel the room, you're here and I 
know you are moving. I'm here and I know you will feel me come down. Spirit, when you move, you make my heart pound. When you feel the road, you're here and I know you are moving. I'm here and I know you will feel me. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask our spiritual DJ back there to find us something to play. Anybody on the praise team, but I'm going to start with Pastor Austin and Pastor Cammie. I'm going to pray with them first. But anybody else on the praise team that wants to, wants to be prayed for? This couple is in the ministerial internship program. I'm their supervising pastor. Go ahead and stand that way and face me. That way people can come around you to pray for you. And uh, let's see, there's... Uh, March, April, we got to finish this month. So they're on the they're on the downside of the of the hill. But God has such a great anointing on this young couple that I just I just can't ignore it. And we want to pray into this moment. We want to pray into this moment because movements come out of moments. And moments are catalysts for momentum. You are so sensitive to the Holy Spirit when you, when you come to the pulpit. You're so sensitive to God. God has given you that gift, and it's given to you for a purpose and for a reason. And you're anointed together, and you flow in worship. And we just want to say that we're here for you. We're behind you. We're supporting you. Your success is our success, and you will go farther than any of us because you've got the time in front of you to do great things for God. And when I say great, don't think quantity or quality. Don't think in linear ways. Think in a way that I've got all of this time in front of me that I can give to the God. I can Because I gave my heart to the Lord at a young age. And God's got 40, 50 years. And if the Lord tarries, that I can serve him and I can do great things for the kingdom. And we want to pray into this moment. And we want to say that we're behind you and we're with you. And God is going to do something great here with you. And God is going to continue to catapult you and accelerate you in those things. Let's gather around. Anybody that, that feels that, council members, other staff members, just members, however, get around. Get around as close as you can. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands on this couple. They are an anointed couple of God. They are your choice servants, and we are so thankful that you have given them to us as servants, that you have given them to us to help shape and mold into the ministers that you have called them to be. God, you have gifted them. But they are being shaped and formed by North Elliott Church of God, by our prayers, by our mentorship, by our finances, by our contributions, by our words of encouragement, by our prayers. God, may we be faithful to shape them in the form that you want them shaped into, that they might be containers of your blessing, containers of your anointing, that they not only pour out on the youth generation, but the older generation as well. In the name of Jesus, this promise is your promise. That wasn't just a word in the youth group, not just a word for this congregation, but that promise is your promise, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Your sorrow has been turned into laughter, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now I'm going to step out. You guys just gather around and bombard them with prayer for a minute. Just press in. Bombard them with prayer. If anybody wants to anoint them with oil, lay hands on them. We've got the oil here. Anyone in the youth group, any of you youth want to pray for your youth pastors, you press on around.
Hallelujah. As I just pray for other people, whether they're the musicians or the or Pastor Reuben and Kelsey, anybody else that wants prayer, you just step up. And you, anybody just gather around, keep praying, stretch your hands. Father, I just thank you for this anointed worship leader and his anointed wife. I thank you, God, that they are knit as one together in kingdom purposes. I pray an anointing. Uh, I pray a Levitical anointing. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Priestly anointing. Rest upon them, God. Singers, worshipers, intercessory prayer, God. Making room in the Spirit for those things that are not, that they might be birthed into the earth, that they might come forth from the spirit realm into the earth, God, whether it be through songs or books or prayers, whatever you want birthed into this earth, God. Let it come through them. Let it come through the womb of their prayer closet. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah, hallelujah. I just feel that if anybody else, if that's you, just raise your hand, receive that. God wants some things done in the earth. God wants some things done in the earth. And He uses the womb of your prayer closet to birth them, to bring them from the spirit world into the physical world. Right? That's, that's John 6. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. If that's you, just raise your hand. Father, right now for the intercessors in this room, in this room, God, we just pray right now for those you have called to birth things into the physical earth from the kingdom. Oh, Father, I pray for an anointing on them. I pray for boldness of faith to call those things that are not as though they were in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Anyone else that wants prayer, just press your way into the front here so I'll know that it's you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody else come to the altar while this song is playing?
men that can, that can get in there, press in there, men. If you're baptized in the Holy Spirit, Kyle, get in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David, yes. Hallelujah, yes. Joel, yes. Come on. He's a mighty man of God. He's a mighty man of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While they're praying, anybody else, you want prayer? Any of the band, anybody else, come around this side. Work around this side. You guys just keep praying. Hallelujah. Let it out, Jerry. Let it out. Let out your praise and worship to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Cole, I need you to come right now, Cole, I need you to come right now. Many of you see Cole back in the kids' area a few weeks ago. I'm going to say this, and if I shouldn't have said it, don't, you can tell me later. But a few weeks ago, I prayed over him that God said he'd made him a watchman. I want to tell you, this guy watches over our church, he watches over our youth, he watches over our, our kids. Would you just join me in praying for him that God has called him out of our congregation to be a watchman over us? to care for us, to care for our kids and our youth. Father, thank you for making Cole a watchman. Hallelujah. Not just in the spirit, he's that, but God also in the physical. To be a watchman over the things of God. To be a watchman over the word of God. To be a watchman over the culture. To be a watchman over our youth and our kids. God, I pray that he feel that mantle greater. I pray that he see things deeper. I pray, God, as you mantled him for this, equip him with the gifts needed. Give him sight beyond physical sight. Give him meaning and understanding into mysteries. I pray it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, let's give God praise. Let's give God praise. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You can make your way back to your seat. Anyway, anybody that wants prayer, you stay. If you don't want prayer, you can, you can just go on back. Come on, praise His wonderful name. Praise His wonderful name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Just give him praise. Let's just worship him for a minute. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're good, God. Come on, let him, let him just pour his goodness on you. Let him touch you.
Now just give that wonderful name some praise. Just give that wonderful name some praise. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to mark our place, and we'll let Pastor Austin come back next Sunday morning. He can preach this word. I believe it's a word from God. I believe it's a word for us. But God had a now moment for us. And we want to pursue that now moment. God wanted you to know that he's remembering the promises. He wanted you to know that. And that he's the one bringing them to pass. You don't have to. No one in this room has to make what God told you happen. You just be faithful. You just be present. All you got to do is show up. That's all you got to do. David was anointed king. All he had to do was show up. The giant was defeated. All he had to do was show up. Now I know he went down in the valley. I understand all of that. But listen to me. Showing up puts you in the place where God needs you to be with the gifts he's given you for you to do it. You don't have to create it. So just rest in him and let him bring it to pass. Rest in him, but also mark this day. Something significant is going to happen in 24. Something significant is going to happen in this year. Something that God has been wanting to do is going to happen in, in this year. For individuals, but also for us corporately. Because it's his time to bring it to pass. Let's just be anxious for it. Let's just be deliberate about it. Amen? Amen? If somebody can hear me in the foyer, you can let Twyla know I'm, I'm, I'm about to close. <laughs> she needs to get ready for parents to come. Everybody standing. If you can make it back tonight, whether you're a member or not, I want you to come 5 o'clock. If you can't make it, I understand. No pressure. But I'd love for you to be here. Father, I thank you for all that you've done in this building this room, in this sanctuary, and also in this building, my house, and the room of my soul. What you've done inside the rooms and the souls of your people. I don't have words enough to say thank you, but I'm going to try anyway. Thank you. Thank you for a divine interruption. Thank you for Holy Spirit moving. Thank you for sensitivity in the preacher. Thank you for sensitivity in the worship team. Thank you for sensitivity in the congregation. And thank you for reminding us of the promise. Now seal it. Seal it by your Spirit in every individual. This word of promise cannot be stolen by the enemy. It cannot be taken, for it's something you have done. And you are the one sealing it, and you are the one keeping it, Father. May we rest in that assurance. May we rest in that hope. May we rest in that peace.